First things first, compression check. Just to make sure we're not starting off with a lost cause, so here we go. Compression tester. We're gonna start right here by getting these plug wires off. What in the hell? That is a giant black widow. I gotta get it. I already lost the bolt and found something that probably wants to kill me. All right, now that we've got the coils off, there's gonna be dirt and grit and grime that falls in there, and that's going right into your cylinder, so. I'll have this old uh, bike spoke laying around. Get it hooked. This one's nice and clean, but it ain't always the case. We'll check the rest. So I know what you're thinking. Like that engine's dirty. Why wouldn't you clean it off before you got started? I have a pressure washer, but my problem with that is, is uh, just had bad luck with cars like this in the desert. Crusty connectors. We'll let water in, especially if you try to power wash the engine bay. And I've just had, sh I've had to chase shorts down, and it ain't worth it. We'll just clean it as we go, just like this. Look at that. This one's got oil. There's oil down in that spark plug hole. Now we're gonna pop the spark plugs out. All right, they all cracked loose real easy. That last one's got some oil. First one's out. So there's oil, yeah, I don't know. We'll pull the rest out. So this one too, there's oil. Probably a valve cover gasket. Luckily we're tearing into it. So now we're just gonna do the same thing on the other side. Hopefully we don't lose any bolts this time. Well sure enough, right off the bat, I lost one with the history of spiders in this thing. I ain't gonna chase it down. We'll find it later. Just don't drop it. That one looks good. Got some corrosion, no oil. This one's in a weird spot. That looks like there might be some oil down in there. Look at this, it's like a limp noodle. This is how we don't get them out. That one looks pretty dry, a little crusty, whatever. That's pretty good. If that ain't the perfect extender to get that back one out, I don't know what is. That's pretty good. I don't see any chunks, some oil. Hmm. Well, I'm ready to throw my compression tester in there. This is port injection, which means it's blowing fuel all over the back side of the valves, generally keeping them fairly clean. So look at that. There's a fuel pump fuse. That way I can do the compression test without squirting any fuel. Here we go. Nope. This one. Put the battery back on and see if the fuel pump kicks on. I got the tester here. We just thread it in. All right, I got that all connected up. Keep an eye on that for me. I'll go turn the key. Are you watching? That was a couple good cranks. 150, holding steady. That's good news. Try the next one. So I got it in there pretty good. I'm gonna go turn the key. I guess we're gonna have to add a starter to the list. See if I can pound on that thing, get it to crank again. Sorry about that helicopter. It's a big helicopter. Oh shit. Alright, let's see if that does it. Make it through my compression test. I'll replace you, I promise. And we got her up to iron set, whatever. Pretty good, it's holding. I'll take it. We're gonna try the next one. Look at that, we have compression. I'm gonna move on. All right, hopefully my starter cranks. No! So after pounding on the starter a couple more times and testing the last cylinder, we get all at once 70-ish. And you know, I got about the same for all of them, which to me is a good sign that this engine is healthy, giving me the go ahead to tear down. I think I'm gonna do timing belt, water pump. We're gonna do all new gaskets in between. I'm gonna check the head gaskets. You know, it's gonna be a lot. It's enough 
probably for me for one day. I got the lady coming home soon. I gotta have dinner ready or I get in trouble. So on the next episode, we are gonna tear into this thing. You know, it's not gonna be a fully step-by-step -step type of deal, but I'm gonna show you what I'm doing because I think it's fairly interesting. We'll see how things go. I like this car a lot. I got a confession to make, but I'll make it in the next episode. So tune in. We're gonna get into some exciting stuff here. Stay tuned.